welcome to the freshman class. My name is Tony Harris, AKA the tutor, and I'm here to tutor you today on side control position. Now, there's two main priorities that you wanna focus on in side control. You wanna keep your uh, partner or opponent's back flat. You want to make sure that you're checking their hips. Why are you checking their hips? Because you do not want them to get back to their guard, okay? So, here we go. I'm going to adjust this for a second, just so I can go over this position with you. Okay. So here we are, we're in side control. Some of the ways that you can check their hips. I'm gonna control his head first to make sure that he can't turn towards me very easily to keep his back flat. That's gonna make life a lot easier on me. One of the ways that we teach our white belts to check the hips for comp competition, because it just, it's easier for them to pick up as far as controlling faster, and a lot of white belts don't know how to escape it yet, is we'll have them do a deep hand dive and usually grab the gi here or in the middle of the person's hips, or just deep hand dive shoving their hips over, okay? In this position, you can usually sprawl with your knees off the mat, your toes are on the mat, your knees are off the mat, and your hips are as low as they can be without touching the mat. And you're holding them, you're holding them here, always pushing in their weight into them just a little bit. When you do a good side control, you're not gonna be on top of your partner, okay? You wanna think about their body like this. I'm gonna cut his entire body in half, and I'm gonna focus on really driving down this side of his body while turning his head away from me. And that's gonna keep him flat. That's gonna keep him down, okay? Now, another way that you can do side control is let's say you've gotten to your position and you're controlling them this way, is another way to check their hips is to use your leg to check their hips. So, make sure their hips are turned away from you and you bring your opposite side knee all the way up to their hips to check. Keep your hips low. You can hug their upper body, keep their head turned away by using your shoulder. Heck, you can even slide both knees up and do the same thing. And now you're in another type of side control that helps you, again, keep them from getting their guard back. It's much harder for them to turn his hips to me. And a lot of people won't stay here. They'll try to flatten their backs. Go ahead and flatten your back. Turn your hips down. Keep your knee pushing into his hip. Keep your body heavy, much harder for them to get their side control back, I'm sorry, get their, their guard back, and much easier for you to maintain, okay? Again, when you're in side control, just like the mount, your goal is to stay away from their guard. We're not trying to go back into there, unless you're working on your passing that day, which I do that sometimes. I'll get past their guard, and then I'll hold them there for a second, and then let my students or let my partners get back into their guard some, so that I can work on my passing and, main, and controlling the position after the pass. But if you're not doing that, if you're really just trying to maintain this position, guys, you wanna make sure that you keep that guard away from you, okay? And there's a million different ways that you can do it to work your opponent, opponent to weigh. But the idea is we wanna, keep, we wanna stay away from their hips and uh, their, their, so stay away from their hips and legs and let them get that back in the game. The last thing, when you're in side control, and sometimes some people are so good or so strong or so fast or so technical, that they start to turn towards you, that is a time when you might need to switch to the other side. So you'll keep your head down, you'll keep your hips low, you'll keep your hands in the game controlling them, and your instructor will actually can actually show you the technique for how to do this, but I just wanna give you the idea. When someone starts turning towards you, it's much harder for you to put their back on the mat like this. It's a lot easier if you start circling to the other side to be prepared to take their back or they'll turn back towards you because they realize their back's in danger and then you flatten their back here. These are ideas for side control and how you can make it work for you, okay? You're in, there's a million different ways to use side control. There's a, there's a plethora, of different, plethora of different things that you can do, but let's just keep the idea. Check their hips, turn their head away, Control the hemisphere of their body that's closest to you. Focus your pressure there, like especially if they're the same size as you. Pardon me? Or heavier. And then go from there. 